everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'm going to explain you about graph coloring algorithm in the subject of design and analysis of algorithm basically in this video i'll explain you what is graph coloring algorithm along with an example so first of all what you have to learn is this is an application of backtracking method from the previous two to three videos we are learning about backtracking and its applications and all right so this is going to be the last video in the applications of backtracking okay so here in graph coloring what you will do is you will be given a graph and some colors you need to fill this graph with the help of these colors okay and you should fill the colors in such a way that no two edges and nodes are having the same color not no two nodes no two adjacent nodes should have the same color okay for example you have a graph like this and the set of colors given to you is red green and blue you have to color this graph in such a way that no two adjacent nodes will have the same color for example you are coloring the node one with red color then you cannot color node 2 with red color again because it becomes adjacent you can color with green okay and coming to node 3 you cannot color node 3 with green again because it becomes adjacent you can use red okay and here you cannot color with red because red is adjacent so you can color with green diagonals can be same okay but adjacent nodes should not have the same color another possible combination is what here instead of green you can take blue so you can either color it in this way R G R G or you can do it in R B R B or you can do it in B R B R there are so many ways possible okay you will get n number of ways to color the graph similarly in the backtracking also we will get multiple solutions right so here if you apply the backtracking algorithm on this graph coloring also you will get multiple solutions to color the graph okay so that we will understand with the help of state space tree and I'm going to draw the tree in this direction okay so we are going to draw a state space tree and this is our given graph okay and the colors that we can use are same let us take the same colors red green and blue okay now let's see how the state space tree is going to be first for example let us start with red okay yeah let's start with red the first node let's give it as red color that means for uh, this is the initial state okay so you are giving x1 is equal to red okay x1 is equal to red is accepted yes so after x1 is equal to red for x2 can you give red color again if you give a red color to x2 they will become same color right so you cannot give red so this becomes a end node okay can you give green color to x2 yes it uh, the adjacent colors are not same so you you can give green color this is accepted okay so from here let us go more so can you give red color to x3 here can you give red color yes it is accepted why because the adjacent color is green so you can take it so this is accepted if this is accepted what you will do x4 x4 is equal to red can you do can you give red to x4 no because here you already have red here you already have red so this is not accepted so red is not accepted let's check with green let me zoom in yeah let's check with green can you give green to x4 here green yes green is accepted why because here you have red here you have red adjacent colors are not green so green is accepted okay since we reached x4 you can stop at this point okay now let us check if you can give blue can you give blue here yes blue is also accepted because the adjacent colors are red and red so blue is also accepted okay you can st stop at this point no further branching is needed because we have reached x4 okay now here for x now let's go back so you are coming back and coming here back again so for this node we checked for red and now let's check for green that means x3 is equal to green x3 is equal to green is accepted 
no it is not accepted why because already green is here so it is not accepted so it becomes a end node can you give blue to x3 x3 is equal to blue can you give let's yes, see you can give blue to x3 now guys wait i know you guys will get confused here because for x4 we already have blue before that let's do something let's write till now whatever pro probabilities we got let us write those probabilities so what is our first probability x1 is equal to r x2 is equal to r we don't have so x2 is equal to g we have right so r g and from g we have x3 is equal to r and in x3 is equal to r we have g again okay and in x3 is equal to r we have one more case also what is that r g r b okay two solutions till now now if you take x3 is equal to b now if you take x3 is equal to b yeah you can take here you have b but of course that is one of the possible solution right so obviously the x4 is also going to change see don't don't get confused we are accepting x3 is equal to b okay so if you are accepting x3 is equal to b from that how many solutions you will get again three subsets you will get right so can you take x4 is equal to r no you cannot take x4 is equal to r why because here already we have r see since we are taking b and then it is changing again right you are coming in a loop so it is changing again so b is accepted here at this point okay so now x4 is equal to r is not accepted because we already have r here so it is not accepted next x4 is equal to g is accepted or not let us check is g accepted for x4 yes because here we don't have g here we don't have g so you can accept g let us see if b is accepted see b is not accepted now because why here already b is there you cannot go back and change b now right so b is not accepted in this case okay now for this node you checked all the three for this node you checked all the three colors for this node rgb all the three colors are checked now your backtracking should go till here you have to stop at this point now okay at this point let's see what is going to happen that means what is the value of this x2 is equal to b that means here you are taking b b is accepted yes because here r is there and anyhow this b will change so you need not consider about this but r is not changed right so you have to consider only r r is there so b is accepted so if it is accepted again next what you have to check x3 is equal to r guys here also we got some accepted condition yeah here we got accepted condition right let us write the path for that r g and then b and then g okay now this is one more case so x3 is equal to r you can take it or not yes you can take it why because here you have b so adjacent to b you can take r happily okay you took r fine that's fine now check if you can take g or not can you take g yes you can take g because we have b here so b is not adjacent to g so yeah g is also accepted okay next can you take b if you take b here here already b is there they will become adjacent right so b is not accepted so this will become the end node okay done now what you have to do you have to now further expand this node and this node for this node how do you expand x4 is equal to r is x4 is equal to r accepted no because already we have r here so x4 is equal to r is not accepted next x4 is equal to g x4 is equal to g is accepted or not yes it is accepted why because here you don't have g here you don't have g sorry here you don't have g here you don't have g so g is accepted so what is one more possible solution now r b r g okay next so is x4 is equal to b is accepted or not x4 is equal to if you take b here already you have b 
again b so it is not accepted okay done now let us check the same scenario for this g so g x4 is equal to r i am doing like this because there is no space here so can you take x4 is equal to r here you cannot because here you already have r for x1 so it is not accepted okay check if x4 is equal to g is possible or not if you take g here what will happen here already what do you have you have i think we have g here x3 is equal to already g right yeah so x3 is equal to already g so again if you take x4 as g what will happen it is not possible they will become adjacent so this becomes wrong can you take x4 is equal to b here you have g here you have r so if you take b it is not becoming adjacent to even to this or to this so you can happily take b okay so this is the state space tree so what is the solution generated here so you are coming from r b and then g and then b again okay so these are the possible solutions that's all or any other possible solutions are there okay yeah maybe you may get more possible solutions as well there's nothing wrong in that 1 2 3 4 5 i got okay so you may get more possible solutions as well how if you start taking here here you took x1 is equal to r right you can take x1 is equal to g again with x1 is equal to g you can generate a space state space tree again with x1 is equal to b also you can generate a state space tree in that way you will get multiple solutions the from the first video of backtracking itself what i am saying excuse me what i am saying for backtracking there are multiple solutions are possible so the same story again multiple solutions are possible for this okay so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic